We continue our reading of Lest We Forget. Today's reading, September 2, Doing Theology, Appeals to Human Authority, Part 3. You leave the commandments of God and hold fast the tradition of men. Mark 7, verse 8. A third invalid use of human authority during the 1888 era concerned reliance upon Adventist tradition to settle a point. Both Smith and Butler used the argument repeatedly that since the Adventist positions on Galatians and Daniel had stood for 40 years, they should not be changed. Smith even went so far as to claim that if the traditional understanding were wrong, he would be forced to renounce Adventism. E.J. Wagner and A.T. Jones, of course, rejected the appeal to Adventist tradition. J. H. Wagner backed up his son. I have long believed, he penned, it to be a serious error which was growing up among us that an individual or even a publishing house should send forth their views and hold the denomination bound to that view because it chanced to be published by them. Expositions of scriptures cannot rest on the authority of tradition. They can be settled only by calm investigation and just reasoning, and then all must have an equal right to express their opinions. Ellen White, as usual, was in the reformer's corner. As a people, she warned, we are certainly in great danger if we are not constantly guarded of considering our ideas because long cherished to be Bible doctrines and in every point infallible, and measuring everyone by the rule of our interpretation of Bible truth. This is our danger, and this would be the greatest evil that could ever come to us as a people. Manuscript 37, 1890 Tradition is an interesting topic. Every red-blooded Adventist can see that other Christians are wrong in relying upon their tradition. After all, those traditions in some cases are obviously erroneous. They should, we affirm, go to the Bible. But Adventist tradition often gets viewed in a different light. Didn't, the logic runs, our pioneers have the truth? Yes, we might reply, but it wasn't all the truth without error. The only genuine test of tradition or any other source of authority is to compare a teaching with the biblical position on the topic. In short, Adventist tradition by itself is no better than any of the other true religious groups. It is always to the Bible that we must appeal. This concludes our reading today of Lest We Forget.